are such an asshole. All right. Uh, last video for the day. I did a bunch of emails. I think this might be a record. Except that one day where I did 49 requests because it was all free. I did free asshole consulting. That 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 went not as good as I hoped it would. We're not as bad, but it was like that was tiring. Today it's been, I've been doing this what, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., <clears throat> 12 hours. Okay. Uh, we have an interesting one. Uh, repeat anonymous customer. Please do a clarity test on porn actress Shana Shana McCullough. I think you'll find her pre-porn career interesting. Um, <clears throat> so let's pull her up here. And um, born 1960, so she is 61. Older gal. This is her in 2001. Oh, okay, that's quite some time ago. <laughs> so uh, she was in her milfy cougar stage back then. I, I'm kind of curious what she looks like now. Uh, McCullough grew up in San Francisco, California. At school, she was involved with a theater group. And acted in drama and musicals. She went to college and received a degree in accounting. Winning! Hey! All right. I wonder what her net worth is. They got a net worth? Um, usually, if you got a head like that on your shoulders, you kind of save your money. She then worked as an electrician for two years and also as a veterinary tech. Boom! <laughs> Dude! I, don't, I, I don't almost want to get her autograph by now. All right. So. She didn't major in stupid crap. She has real world working experience. And I would also include the porn in that too. Cause that, you know, talk to uh, Sterling Cooper. That's not like, you know, Oh, you just show up and have sex. There's a lot of work involved in that. Especially for the girls that have sex with Cooper. <laughs> All right. Uh, after, after starting to work in porn, she also performed as a night, as a dancer in nightclubs during a break from the business. She also worked as a stripper, went back to school to study zoology with the aim of working in the animal health care field. 1999, Wired.com reported that Shana was operating a website giving members 24-hour access to multiple web... Look at the entrepreneurial stuff! To multiple webcams installed in her home. On, and ahead of the game. I mean, webcam... Was there even... 1999, did you even have the bandwidth for that? As of March 2009, the website appears to have ceased operating. In March 2008, she walked the Los Angeles Marathon. Uh, Dave Cummings said Shano was one of the actresses he most enjoyed working with. 2014, uh, stage name, sounded like her grandmother's last name. Uh, picked her stage name. Uh, she also professed to having a fairly normal upbringing and that she did well in school. Pronounce la ba, ba, da, fran, da, ba, boo, da, boo, da, boo. <clears throat> Well, she kind of worked uh, up until about 20 years ago. And there's not much more on her there. I, mean, I guess the lady has every right to retire by now. Um, I'd, I'd really be curious as to what she did with the money. I'm really curious. Uh, because nowadays you got gals that do the the... Uh, fans only, and they don't save no money. They don't even make estimated tax payment. What do you mean I owe money? Certainly don't throw the money into uh, into a four hundred one, not four hundred one k IRA. I just be if with a gal with that kind of background, she has real world experience. So, all right, <clears throat> did major in stupid stuff. Sounds like came from normal background. All right, so she didn't uh, come from wealth. She has real world working experience. What's she doing now? I don't know. Lady could be retired or something. Um, what is it with 24 hours of wonder how long she went into zoology? Well, hey, that, that's kind of cool. So yeah, well, should she run for office? Absolutely. Hell, anyone's better than what you got now in California. Uh, would I like to have a beer with her? Hell yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That sounds like a cool gal. Why am I not going? There we go. All right. Let's go ahead. Good morning, Jack. Notice now, I just want to point out something here. Last night, I, especially for my Jewish lineage, was incredibly charitable and kind and donated not once, but twice to uh, Jack and Rurb on Red Evening, which you could find on YouTube if you're feeling charitable and you have no taste in podcasts. I donated not once, but twice, two whole dollars for a total of four bucks. Four bucks. Does Jack donate to me? Does Jack 
Oh, oh, I'm the stingy fellow who flies Spirit Airlines. I'm the guy who's got to get the, I'm the boomer cutting coupons. All right. All right. It's okay. Jack the chinser. Is that a word? You chintz. Someone who chintz is a chinser. Napier. Napier the chinser. All right. Is it snowing in South Dakota? No, it snowed in October. We got six inches and um, then we got another four inches, you know, kind of like Jack every night. Because <laughs> he's gay. Get it? The implication? That was the punchline. In case you were confused why, what the joke was or why did the old man, you know, gasping laugh there. It's because there was an indication that Jack was catching several inches, you know, from Watson. Yeah, Watson, his friend. Uh-huh. Okay, Jack. Okay. All right. That's it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles. Oh, wait, hang on. Mexi Mike. Mexi Mike is generous. Uh, no 100 minimum super chat. What the F? I'll give, you'll live to regret this. <laughs> no, because it's the last one tonight. I, I, uh, and thank God I went, I think this is like the 13th video. And then I did two interviews or I did rule zero earlier this morning. And then I was on with the crucible with uh, Andrew Wilson. You guys want to check that out. I'll upload that to my uh, SoundCloud. <clears throat> it's been a long, long day, long day. And, um, and I did a bunch of emails for a Hill consulting. All right. That's it. All right. I'll see you guys later. Tools. <laughs>